On September 12, 1990, the regional center of eastern Kazakhstan experienced a major technogenic accident, the beryllium production building at the Alba Metallurgical Plant exploded. The city was enveloped in toxic smog, and panic erupted. In USD Kaminogorsk, UMP was called postal. The production was so secret, that even family conversations were forbidden. The workshops were numbered, the products were labeled, Northern Metal, Southern. It was a closely guarded secret that the plant was connected with the defense and space industries, that nuclear material was used here. But only in the kitchens could the citizens whisper about why the Americans called USD Kaminogorsk Atomogorsk. This date, September 12, 1990, is memorable for every inhabitant of East Kazakhstan region. In the morning, a rumor swept through, there was a blowout at the Alba Metallurgical Plant. The plant was one of the most secret enterprises of the Ministry of Medium Machine Building of the USSR. The very ministry that for many years under cover of its strictly peaceful name had been, as they called it then, forging the nuclear shield. Simply put, it was first and foremost involved in the military atom. In Soviet times, UMP produced fuel, pellets, for nuclear submarines as well as land-based reactors as part of an order from the Ministry of Defense. The plant is certified to handle material enriched to 92% in uranium-235, U-235. The unique equipment of the plant is designed so that, God forbid, the concentrate in operation does not reach a critical mass, i.e. a spontaneous chain reaction does not take place. The fuel pill is the end product of the plant. One of the byproducts is, in particular, the metal beryllium powder. But all this information is available now. These days, UMP openly positions itself as the main enterprise of the national company Kazatomprom. It increases the production of fuel for nuclear reactors and enters the international market with its pills. At that time the fear of secret manufacturing, rooted in consciousness for years and cultivated and fresh trauma of Chernobyl events pushed through USD Kaminogorsk city a wave of alarming rumors, an explosion, a radioactive cloud will cover. What was actually like? What stopped the trouble? The main thing, who stopped it? From information about the fire at the Alba Metallurgical Plant Production Association, sent by the head of the East Kazakhstan Fire Protection Detachment to the chairman of the USD Kaminogorsk City Emergency Commission on September 25, 1990. On September 12, 1990 at 10.20 a.m. a message about a fire in building number 662 of workshop number 3A was received by telephone and simultaneously by electric fire alarm to the communication station of fire department number 1 of fire fighting squad 40. Two fire brigades were sent to the place of fire with tank trucks and a vehicle of powder extinguishing. By the time of arrival, 10 hours 25 minutes, to the scene of the fire the situation was as follows. The windows of skylights in the finished product warehouse and on the second floor were broken. There was an intense focal combustion of ventilation ducts and process equipment. At the time of the pre-deployment personnel at 10.26 a.m., a second explosion occurred in the area of the beryllium wet grinding area. At 10.30 a.m., 12 fire departments with tanker trucks and six special vehicles were concentrated on the fire. A cordon of the fireplace was made by the troop unit. At 10.35 the next explosion occurred. As a result of the explosion, the shock wave on the floors of building number 662, in addition to the glazing, also destroyed partitions, doorways, air ducts, and some of the process equipment. Beryllium dust accumulated in the underground exhaust ventilation duct was released into the premises. Hot spots of combustion occurred on all floors of the building. The most intensive combustion was taking place near the air ducts of supply and exhaust ventilation. There was a threat of fire moving through the ventilation duct to building number 615. The measures taken in building 662 at 11 hours 34 minutes localized the fire. At 12.23 a.m. a strong explosion happened in building 615 in the rough filters room, as a result of which the windows of the skylights from the western side were destroyed, beryllium dust and powder were released into the atmosphere, one of the units with tubular fabric filters caught fire and there was a real danger that fire might spread to other units. The possibility of repeated explosions in the buildings was not excluded. At 1619 the fire in that building was contained, and at 1849 both buildings were extinguished. 
At extinguishing of fire 127 workers of fire protection of USD Kaminogorsk garrison, 21 units of main and special equipment were involved. One of the probable causes of the man-made disaster is the human factor. The welder of building number 662 took on hot work without authorization. The sparks got into the ventilation basement, where a huge mass of beryllium dust accumulated. The use of water in extinguishing the fire triggered the release of hydrogen. There were two or three explosions at the UMP beryllium plant, the old building blew up and between 60 and 300 tons of beryllium dust was released into the air, according to various estimates, it's not radioactive dust, but it's carcinogenic. It would have been a local Chernobyl. No conclusions have been drawn as a result of this terrible tragedy. It is strange that a company which has beryllium production in operation does not have, and is not willing to have, the results of the investigation of the consequences of the terrible accident of 1990. After all, beryllium production operates, for the most part, on the basis of the former technology. And where is the guarantee that the same accident will not happen again? It is clear that the study of the accident's impact on the health of residents must be conducted by a specialized organization that has a license. UMZ's contribution to this study should be financial. Why not allocate funds, announce a tender for such a study, invite not only domestic or Russian organizations, but also from abroad? The Israelis, for sure, would conduct an objective study? But the URMZ has taken the position of we know nothing, and we don't want to know and in vain. It is necessary to reveal the veil of secrecy about the 1990 beryllium explosion. And the sooner the better. More than 30 years have passed, and the consequences of the accident could have been irreversible. While no one can answer why in 90th year's growth of oncological diseases in USD Kaminogorsk began, though the enterprises considerably reduced the load, hardly worked CCK, and UMZ practically was idle. To pretend that, they say, everything is normal, there was nothing terrible, it's not human. The most frightening thing is the uncertainty. It is high time we had an open and serious conversation about the tragic events of 1990. It is possible to remain silent. But all the same, all the secrets come out in the open. All government promises fell into oblivion along with the Soviet system. And today, the plant claims that there is not a single study that confirms the impact of the UMP on the health of the townspeople. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.